What's up YouTube? PJ coming at you with another video and today I'm gonna attempt to fix some paint chippings on my car. Before I get on with the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I am by no means a licensed professional at any of the things that I do on my car. So if you're looking for a licensed professional, then you might want to go check out somebody else that says they're a licensed professional at doing this. I have been doing research on how to do things on my car, such as this, what I'm going to show you guys today. And I'm going to try to the best of my ability to follow those things. But if I'm not doing something right, then just let me know in the comment section below. If you just so happen to like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And yeah, let me just go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so to get started, the materials that I have, I have my cleaning solution is basically just alcohol and water in a bottle. I'm gonna wipe it down, clean it up beforehand. And then I have some masking tape. I have the automotive primer. You can actually just get some Rust-Oleum automotive primer from Home Depot, AutoZone, or whatever hardware store is around you. And I ordered some touch-up paint from AutomotiveTouchUp.com and this is actually going to show you guys basically be a review on how this product will work. And last but not least, I have the clear coat and I also have some sandpaper which I'm going to tell you guys more about whenever I get started. But let's go ahead and get started. Just to go ahead and show you guys, this is what I'll be trying to fix in today's video. And as you can tell, it's quite noticeable. And I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna fix it, how it's gonna look whenever I'm done. All right, y'all, so first things first, we gotta get the inside of this hood masked off with the tape. And then I'm gonna tape around here and get ready for to put my primer on. And also, I'm gonna wanna mask up this headlight just cause I don't really feel like taking it off and then dealing with the hole that it's gonna leave, so. Let me just throw some tape on the headlight also. All right, so now that I have this masked off, and some of you may think that I went kind of overboard with the masking, but I promise you're gonna be thankful for having this much masking tape just because you're gonna wanna, for sure, mask off the area like I, like I did and Spray your primer after you sandpaper and then take off the tape from the panel that you're working on because if not, you're going to get this line that you just can tell like where the new paint is versus the old paint and you're not going to want that. But as of now, I'm going to take my 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper and just get the sanding this lightly until it all blends in and there are no like chips or anything like you can just tell it's one. And remember you're just going to want to lightly sand it because you don't want to take too much off but you do want to sand it enough to where it is coming off and it is smoothing out and you can tell. Alright so now that this is all scuffed up I'm just going to place a smaller strip of tape right here just so it can divide the scuffed up part with the unscuffed up part under this tape. All right, so before you started, you could have just scuffed up a lot of this with the 1000 grit, but I didn't really do that and I forgot about it to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm not a licensed professional at this, but I am getting the job done. And um, yeah, just put that thin sheet of tape right here just so you can separate it. So then you can go back and take this up and then you'll know what the line is and you can sand that down with the 1000 grit because you're going to want to scuff this up so the new paint and new clear coat will have something to adhere to. <laughs> Alright, so now before priming, just make sure you clean it with your cleaning solution and uh, pick a paper towel or a cloth or something. You're really not supposed to use a paper towel, you're supposed to use something that doesn't have any fibers or will leave anything behind after you wipe it. But this is all I had at the moment and this is all I really felt like looking for and I don't think that it'll make a big difference so I'm gonna do it and then you can see how this turns out and you can see if you want to do it like this or if you just don't want to follow what I did but let me go ahead and clean this. Alright so now that I've done that 
Now it's time to go ahead and spray, start spraying my first coat of primer on this part that I've scuffed up right here and start getting the job done. And I would say shake the primer like this or up and down or do a mixture of all of it for about 30 to 45 seconds just to make sure nothing's all clumped up and it's sprayed correctly. And then once you've made sure that it's all shaking up and things, take a little test card or something and do one pass over it and if it comes out great, you're ready to start priming. All right, so now that I've let the primer dry for about five to 10 minutes, um, I'm now ready to start taking off the tape that's on the same panel as the one that, I'm, that I've primed and see what it came out to be so far. All right, so now that I've taken the tape off, you can see this line of primer that I have and it kind of sits up barely but it does sit up noticeably uh, from the original paint. So I'm going to take my 1000 grit sandpaper and lightly sand the edges until it blends in with the rest. And I'm going to use the same 1000 grit sandpaper to scuff up a little bit more so then I can just start applying my base coat. And once the base coat is applied, then I'm going to wait about 30 minutes or so and then spray my clear coat on here and try to get as close as possible, if not over a little bit, to the clear coat that's already on the rest of the car. And one technique that I like to use is to go start from the part that you prime and sand down towards the part that isn't prime, that uh, is the regular part of the car. And that will tend to just give you a smoother sanding and you can just tell easier whenever it's blended. Alright, so I've done all the prepping that I need to do. I've sanded, I've primed the part that was messed up and I've sanded the coating of the, the original coating. And now I'm ready to go ahead and put my touch up paint on there. All right, once again, you're gonna shake it side to side, up and down, however you wanna shake it for 30 to 45 seconds to make sure that nothing's clumped up inside of it. And then you're gonna wanna test it on the sheet of paper or something, and then make sure it is the right color of your car. And then once you do that, you're gonna gradually spray about this speed or something, I'll show you closer. But once you do that, you should be ready for the clear coat and then just let it dry. Boy, don't. All Alright, so I've cleaned the car up, I've primed it, sanded it, painted, and put the clear coat all on the car. And I have to say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with how the results came out. I'm gonna let you guys see at the end of this video how it looks in direct sunlight. Hopefully it looks better, even better than it does under the garage. Oh yeah, by the way, shout out to Michael Graham, Mikey, I call him Mikey, for letting me use his garage. He's the one with the 2JZ Lexus that I reviewed on my channel. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. You won't want to miss, miss that video. But this just about wraps up this video. I'm glad you stayed this long. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And by the way, I do have a giveaway going on right now. You can check that out with the link in the description below. And yeah, just join the Morrison Project and you might win the giveaway that I'm doing. Share this video with all of your friends and family or anyone that you know that wants to get paint done and they just don't feel like paying the thousand or a couple thousand dollars to get it done and if they just need something touched up then this will be a good teaching and learning experience for them 
But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank y'all for watching.